Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us on this channel. We like to have a lot of boat outboard fun stuff um, and sometimes other stuff. Big hello to all you new subs. Thanks for joining us here in the brand new year 2024 of the year of our Lord. You understand? So, um, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, just throw up a video. It's been a couple weeks. A um, couple things going on. Um, one, of course, the weather. Been dealing with that. Rain, snow, rain, snow, rain, snow, wind. Rain, snow, rain, snow, rain, snow, wind. Wind, snow, wind, snow, wind, snow, wind, snow rain. Like that. Piles of snow, then temperature goes up, rains come, turns everything to black ice, people sliding all over in the ditches and everything, including me. I was back in the old Cody Bass drove van and one of my wheels went right in a little ditch because I just went saboop. Saboop. Pretty good sound effects. If I do say so myself. Um Anyway, so we've been dealing with the weather. That's one issue. Hard to just get an outboard in and out of the little shop. Um, but we're going to get one in here today. <clears throat> and what, oh, what else? Oh, and then I've had some, some kind of lower back issues going on. And I thought, you know, I better, I, better, I better take it easy. Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your aching back drive you crazy. Lighten up. You, you get it. Um, yeah, so I thought about lighting up while I still can. Don't you guys even try to understand. Um, yeah, so I had a little bit of, you know, I still got a little touch of it going, so I got to be careful and use my lifting equipment. Yeah, that's what I say. Um, so we did that, and then, uh, oh, you know, just the holidays, the, you know, the holidays and the busy and the holidays that so hopefully we'll get back on schedule hopefully the weather will get a little better my back will get a little bit better and we can move on down the road but um i've got a customer's motor i was going to work on this little 4.0 and see if i couldn't come up with some kind of better recoil system on it or make the one that's on it better or something but I need to get to this customer's engine. It's been a little while, and I need to get that taken care of. So I'm going to swap over and do that. It's a 30 Johnson, later model Johnson, and uh, get it in here. And then um, I picked up a couple other cute little engines, sort of. Could be cute, but I'm going to show you them. Um, so we're going to get that Johnson in here, 30. Then I'll show you those two little I just acquired, the little cuties. And uh, we'll go from there. Because around here, like I've always said, in this little shop, you never, ever, ever know what's going to show up at this shop. Let's get to it. Well, there they are. This little guy pulls over. Missing the garbage raider. Oh no. Here's the garbage raider. What's left of it? Yeah, that ain't good. Yeah, that ain't good. I've got a few more of these. Um, there. This one has the forward neutral, which I like. Yeah, that's forward. And that's neutral. I don't know though. I don't know 
if that's working or not because it's still turning the flywheel up under there. I can see it, you can't, but. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know, that, that'd be if this is flopped around on the wrong side. But that, there, now. Okay, that. But it, it ain't going in neutral, it ain't doing nothing. It's still turning the flywheel, so. Something's got to give there. And then this is the old game fisher. This is pretty much junk. Yeah, ain't much, much left to that one. But this little Evan Rude 4, you never know. The little Evan Rude might be worth something. But anyway, just thought I'd show you those. My poor skiffs, I ain't been able to move them. Everything just froze. Then it started raining. We had ice and snow out here. And then we got like a solid five, six, seven days of rain. Oh boy. Now as you can see, there's still a little bit of ice right there. And if you look, my grass is almost looking greenish. <laughs> so all the snow melted. And, uh, yeah, so. Oh, we'll get more, don't worry. But right now, my outboard rack is snow free. As is the porch, everything else. And the old plum tree. She's looking a little peaked. Maybe this summer, who knows? Who knows? Here's the little 30 Johnson. Okay. Right off the bat, it's got the shifter in front. So that should put it at least, I believe, out of 90. If I can see. I can't tell if that's an EU or an EV. I think it's an EU. Okay. So about a 95, I guess. Uh, the owner of the motor said he actually don't remember what was wrong with it. Um, he said he thought, see he's got a couple of these and I believe I sold him this one and I know I sold him I think two others very similar to this. I see it's got the old plastic top carburetor, garbage raider. Um, and they've, oh boy, it's, it's pretty salty the fuel in there, instead of looking pretty blue or whatever, looks black. So what we're going to do, starting off, since he wasn't sure what's wrong with it, and I sure as heck don't know <laughs> what's wrong with it until I dig into it, we're going to start off with a fax check. And just see what we got for a compression and spark and such. Um, it's not the, I mean, it's not the dirtiest I've ever had. 
you can see this is what I call the last ditch effort engine. You can see where the paint is coming off the inside of the bottom cowl there, no primer at all. Um, yeah. These are good motors, but they, they cut a lot of corners. Remember you used to get an air silencer box in here? Nope, not, not, not in the 90s you didn't. They were doing the last ditch effort to stay alive. Um, yeah, I'm looking at a lot of stuff uh, that I see. This little nipple. I mean, I suppose that would work. Um, not how I would have done it, but... Yeah. So she's going to need some work. A little bit of salt yuck and stuff in there. I noticed that when I turned the uh, tiller throttle, sorry, very stiff. Yeah, really. Got that old cable that goes in, loops completely around, comes back this way. I, I suppose it's okay, but. Oh, she's got compression, feels like. But, let's get them candles out of there and. See if we got spark. I'll be okay. Pull the old sparky candles out, and they're completely dry and clean. Like this engine hasn't been run in quite a while, and they're not Championis. They're NGK. In these motors here, I prefer the Champions. QL7JC4, I think it is, is what I like to see in them. But, this one had the NGK9s in there. So! Let me get my sparky spider. Yeah! And let's see if we've got us some sparky. One and two. Okay, put this right in about there and find us a boat or something. Whoa, there's one. If it'll stay there, that ought to work. I don't see where it should jump anywhere back there. I'm going to slide you over right there. And should be these two top ones right in here. Make sure the thing's in neutral best I can. Whoa, look at that recoil. Just <laughs> Let me sp spray some lube into that puppy. Um, let me see if i got the other lube. Yeah, there ain't much, but okay. Now, what do we got going on for a kill switch on this thing right there? don't have a starter so that must be the kill switch but I don't know about you guys let me check my connection you want to stun us uh, is that one more pull and I think popped out of there like that let me put a glove in there just in case top of this boots all cracked and crumbly so I'll need to replace that Hmm. 
me recheck my ground over here, see if I can find a better one. Right in there. I ain't seeing nothing. I went and got one of these little adjustable kind of spark checkers. That way I can make the gap a lot closer. I just want to see if we got anything in there. So that's a little over a sixteenth of an inch. And I see nothing. Try the other one. So I'd say we are dead. We got no spot. I'm pretty convinced of that now. Well, here's the ground for the power pack. I got them two bolts out. And you see, it's, it's just solid yuck. So, I'm going to get a little wire brush. And we're going to clean that up a little bit. As soon as I figure out what I did with that. There it is. Okay, let's get the little brass brushy here get it. oh yeah she's pretty corroded I just knock off the star washer probably and then what I'm gonna do is just reground this power pack to the top you can't see it but where it mounts to the bottom here is just solid white pops a little better so I'm gonna just put one bolt and ground the ground it to the top there and get my little rat tail clean some of that white crap off of there the old salt reaction I got some nice shiny brass coming now, coming through. Oh yeah. So let's put that back on with just the top nut. See if we get any spucky wucky. That one there looks good if I can get it. Okay. Let me put a glove up under there so it won't spark to the cow and I can't see it. Okay. Them two. Them two right there, them two. Did we get anything? Nothing! I got nothing! So! The manual says if you lose spark on one cylinder or one bank suspect coil if you lose spark on a complete side of a bank or in the case of a two cylinder or three cylinder you lose spark on all suspect pack so it could be something else, but I'm thinking we got a bad power pack here. So I'm either going to have to test this one or go see if I got another one, which I'm sure I do. So I'll be back. Okay, um, I went out in my parts conics there, and I, if I dug around for a good while, I'm sure I could find a used one out there. But uh, why am I going this route? Um, CDI says for this particular motor, this setup, if you lose spark on both cylinders, suspect pack. If you lose spark on a single cylinder, suspect coil. And then I have found through experience 
that most often that is true. If, if you follow that chronological order at the CDI website, I don't have to light off my Stevens ST75 over there and stuff. I, I, I generally find that is the order to test these in. And when you lose, at, well, it also steps one through like four, they're going to tell you to disconnect the kill switch. Um, I did that. I did that step right off the bat. Then they're going to tell you steps two and three and on if you lose spark on all cylinders or a, all on a single bank on a V engine to uh, suspect pack. So I suspect pack. Let's see. Now, like I said, I didn't have a used one, so I went out and got one of my new old stock brand, brand new ones. It's, it's brand new in the boxes. Hey. Oh, I like water. It fell out. My little, my little OMC paper. So, we got a brand new one. And I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. I'm just going to bolt it to the engine with a single bolt to the ground. And just make sure, because I mean, we might have to pull the flywheel. But I'm going to suspect pack. So let's see what we get. I did clean up these bosses where this screws on really good with a file and a brush. Now we got to see. On this particular motor, I hate the way this gets so close into the block there and kind of pinches things. I don't like that. Oli. I don't like that, Oli. Mr. Oli Evan Rood. Alright. So I put the ground wire on the bolt. Then I put it through the power pack. And now I'm going. Squinch it in between the power pack and that nice cleaned up boss on the block that I cleaned up real pretty. So we should have a good ground. Now, I'm going to see if I can get you guys back here a little bit better. There we go. All right. Now we've got two, that's the kill switch ground, so we ain't got to worry about that. So, now on these, for people just starting out on these twin, 20 twin twin engines, the coil wires that go to the little brass nipple on the coil, one of them will have a green line sometimes, and one of them will have a blue. Green is grass down toward earth, blue is sky up toward sky. So the blue one, you can see, I, hopefully you can see, oh, you should be able to, there's a blue stripe on this. So this goes toward the sky. This one should have a green, but it don't, that I see. And if it doesn't have a green, well, there's only one place left for it to go. You know. If it can't go toward the sky because the blue one's there, then it's got to be the bottom one. So let's put that on. Did I get that? I think I did. Now, there's my leads. And, and I'm going to have to take you know most of this back off. And, but we're just going to see if the old suspect pack is correct. Okay, so we're hooked up there. We got the power pack grounded. We got both our leads to the coils. And now we've got our spark checker still hooked up. All right, let's see if Suspect Pack from the old CDI boys. Those two on the top. And then I got to show you guys something. You got you to gotta help me out with this one. But anyway, those two. Let's see what we get. I see... Two hot ones. 
Okay, so we got spark on both now, top and bottom. Now, I'll have, like I said, I'll have to kind of take that back off, route everything properly. And I could see where it would be hard starting if it uh, had no spark. Um, but I'm just curious anyway what the numbers are. So we're going to do a complete facts check them. And we're going to do a compressionist check on this guy. It feels pretty good though. Okay, I'm on zero on this guy, so let's see what we get. We're going to give her five good ones. There's five good ones. What we get? What we get? About 122 ish. Yeah, about 122. Almost 124, I'd say. That's on the bottom. So that's pretty good. I like to see over 100. Um, before I would sell an engine, it's going to have over 100 or be sold as parts or something. We're on the top. Zito. Let's get four or five good ones here. Five good ones. Forget what we get. About 120. No, about, I'd say 118. Those are good numbers. And this is dry. Very dry. You saw those spark candles I pulled out of here. They were looked like they'd been sitting out in the whole Maslavi desert. The, the Mas, Maslavi desert. Alright, we got good spark, so we know the CDI says suspect pack. So I I, I suspected the pack. Like I said, through experience, more often than not, that's the route you I go. Unless, uh, let me, unless, I'm, you know, I, the first thing about a fax check, and I've always thought it should be a IFAX, IFAX, everything's going I this, I that, so we're not IFAX. Because the first thing you're going to do Just look around. Sniff around. See what you see. See what you smell. You're going to inspect it. An IFAX. So if I see like melted wires or torn, super corroded, there's the first thing you're going to do on a fax check is give the engine a good once over. Look, peel these wires, move them, look for really corroded. This is a saltwater engine. Look for the really corroded stuff. I did find a corroded ground on here, but it was the pack. So, um, but I, I got something else I want to show you. I need somebody to do some, some explaining to me. I don't know what it is. I don't even know why they did it. But I'm going to let you guys look at it and try and tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't come across this one. Now, look at that garbage raider. What is that? That. What is that? I have not seen this. Now, it's... I don't... Uh, is somebody... I think somebody, oh, they, this is a jury rig choke, I think. Just like, a, yeah. look at that, it's got a, you can lift it. That could cause vibration, 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 vibration. 
Ah, uh, that's not good. Whoever did this, if you're watching, this engine does not have a choke. It has a primer. And that I can see the primer's hooked up. I don't see no busted little nipples or nothing. But that's what they were doing. I just, I just, when I unloosened that and figured that out and saw this, they were using that as a choke. Pull the bonnet off, choke it, blah, 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 it starts. Put it to half choke. How about that? Never seed that before. Hey? Okay. Now, if you don't mind taking off the bonnet to start it the first time of the day, warm it up a little bit, shut her down, and put that in, the, say, their position, that would probably do. And then get rid of the primer, of course. Just block them nipples off. That's what it is. Somebody was using that as a homemade choke. How about that? I've never seen that before. Now, oh, don't get me wrong, I've seen plenty of homemade chokes. I've just never seen this on this engine. Okay. I found my OMC special tool number 03 something, 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 something. And you go, that don't look like a very special. And it's not. It's a pair of needle nose that I ground down to be real skinny at the tips. And that allows you to get in these recoil things. For the safety interlock. And they do, by the way, make a special tool for this, but it's essentially this. Special tool number 685230 something. But that's all you need to do is take an old cheesy pair of Wally World horrible freight, whatever, and grind them off and pinch it out of there. You gotta pinch it. I pinched it. So, now, what I like to do is take this recoil and pull it out like so. Okay. And I put it bloop. I give it the bloop in my outboard tank and just let that hang out with all the goodies and the goodies in there are the discharge oil and stuff from the outboards when I run it in there and sometimes I'll be squirting tri-flow and stuff on the engines while they're running to loosen things up and that goes down in that tank and then I also add nitric acid in the form of a product called salt away in there and I like to soak that whole recoil in there it do make a difference after say a day or so should be happy okay so we've got this thing firing now and I still need to pull the power pack off route the wires in the best way I possibly can and uh, I've got other concerns we removed the um, improvised manual choke off of here I don't think the primer is going to be a problem none of the plastics broke or anything but we won't know until we try and spin her up um, what did I do I got where are they at? Okay, there. Okay, so we got this bad power pack. We got it off. I stick it in the box and give it to the owner when he picks up the motor and say, there you go. I'm going to give him back his NGKs. Will these work? Yes. Um, some people prefer them. And I certainly prefer NGKs in certain applications myself. Anything built by Honda for certain gets NGKs. Um, most of the Asi Asian Asianic motors, uh, overseas, uh, Yamaha, Suzuki, they will have these NGKs. I'm putting QL7 JC4s back in there. 
That's my preference. I'll just leave it at that. Um, but this one's probably getting a little long. And we've got some spocky wacky. We got some compressionis. You understand us? And uh, a few other little things we need to button up. We'll get it in the tank, spin it up, and hopefully we can do the outboard dance. You know, the outboard dance. Anyway, hopefully we can do it. But this one's getting a little long. Again, Welcome to 2024! And I hope it's kind of a better year than last year for all of us. Um, and uh, Hope everybody had a, a great holiday season as we start into the, the new year. I hope to have a good outboard season and so forth. And thank each and every one of you um, for the kind comments and everything. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.